Welcome back, beer tubers. Today we're going to take a look at a Goose Island beer and the big new 750 format. This is Sophie, six and a half percent. They just call it a Belgian style ale. I don't know if this is classified as a Saison or a uh, Belgian blonde ale. I'm not sure what. They describe it as 80% Belgian style ale blended with 20% Belgian style ale aged in wine barrels with orange peel. So. Uh, this is definitely a uh, InBev brewed beer in the new format. I got it poured out. It's um, slightly hazy, just a very light color, uh, just a like a dark straw, light gold. Uh, probably just maybe only using Pilsner malt, maybe a little bit of wheat, but uh, very pale beer, high carbonation, bright white head. You swirl it up, you get a nice head. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, you can tell there's a little bit of a, a barrel aged beer on there. Uh, definitely picking up the orange peel, that's certainly noticeable. You get a, a white wine type of character, a grape character coming through. Uh, a lot of uh, stone fruits, particularly uh, apricot. There is some good amount of pear in there as well. Hint of like a, a clove spiciness in there as well. A uh, little bit of an oak character, that sort of tannin character is in there as well. I also got a little bit of a black pepper in there to go along with the cloves. So it's got a little spiciness to the yeast esters. Uh, a little bit of a sweet malt character, but not much. Like I said, I'm guessing Pilsner malt on it, so. But uh, let's give it a try. Cheers. Yeah, it's just a very clean, refreshing, light beer. Uh, this particular bottle is nearly 11 months old at this point, so uh, it does have some age on it. But uh, they say on the bottle it should develop five years in the bottle, up to five years in the bottle, because it is bottle conditioned. Uh, I don't know if they're using Britannomyces on this, but you might get some from the barrels. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not tasting a whole lot of Brett character. So up front you get a lot of carbonation, but not so much that's stinging your palate. Uh, it's just appropriate for the style. Uh, sweetness is the first thing that kind of, kind of comes after that. That orange peel comes through big time. It's a sweeter type of orange peel. Um, and then you get some of those stone fruit characteristics, a lot of that pear midway through. And then the finish really dries out and uh, you start to pick up a little bit of that oak tannin. Uh, that the wine character kind of transitions in there as well. Uh, very dry finish to the beer. I uh, get a little lingering like grain character. Uh, there's a bit of like a doughy grain uh, flavor to the beer. And then uh, the, the finish has some of the, the drier aspects of uh, the malt uh, to the beer. But um, it's overall it's a very dry beer, very refreshing crisp type of beer. So the more I drink out, the more I'm picking up a little bit of like an earthy, uh, sort of spicy, wet hay-ish kind of character. So there maybe is a little bit of Britannomyces in the beer. It's not overly prominent though, but I should mention you definitely get that, that yeast ester uh, phenolic character on the finish as well with, with the wood character. Uh, it's a little more peppery on the flavor than say a, a clove character. But um, definitely using like a, a, so, uh, probably a Belgian Saison yeast in this beer to give it that character. To go along with the stone fruit pear, there's like a little bit of a citrus kick that's a more like lemony. So maybe they're, I don't know if they're using just, cause I get a lot of sweet orange peel up front, but you get this almost uh, tart, uh, lemony citrus character as well in there. So this is a really, uh, Really solid beer. Uh, it's not a bad deal for uh, 750. I, I picked it up for ten dollars at a store that's usually on the expensive side, so you might be able to find this uh, even cheaper than ten dollars, which uh, is a pretty good deal for this beer. I guess that's one of the positives the InBev has done. It's been a while since I've had the uh, the, the pre-InBev Goose Island Sophie, so I forget how much it's stacked up. I, I remember it being a little better, maybe a little funkier. But uh, it's been a long time, and this is still pretty solid, so I'm going to go with the B. Uh, certainly above average beer we're checking out.
um, worth maybe aging. Buy one, uh, hopefully fresh, and age one for a few years, see how it does. Could uh, develop even more over time. But uh, right now, it's solid beer after about uh, 11 months. So it's going to wrap this one up. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.